President Trump has sent Congress a record $4.7 trillion budget that boosts defense spending by 5% to $750 billion. He wants $8.6 billion for a completion of a border wall, setting up a new fight with congressional Democrats. President Trump delivered his 2020 budget proposal to Congress, asking for $8.6 billion in new funding for his long-promised border wall. He thinks it's important to secure the country. It's one of his most basic constitutional responsibilities. The funds would go towards building more than 700 miles of barrier along the U.S.-Mexico border. Cuts to domestic programs, including Medicaid, would pay for it. We need to continue to secure the country. We need to continue to secure the border. We're not going to be bashful about that. Democratic leaders are already pushing back. The budget request we received today would be a gut punch to the middle class, a handout to powerful special interests, the wealthiest few. The president's pursuit of a border wall led to a record-breaking government shutdown earlier this year, something that could happen again in the fall. The president failed to convince Congress, the American people, and perhaps most glaringly, Mexico, to pay for his border wall. Senate Republicans are set to vote this week on a resolution passed in the House blocking the national emergency the president declared to finance the wall. Let's not forget the only reason he has the authority to call a national emergency is because Congress gave him the right to do so. They failed to do their job. The president's fulfilling his duty. In a tweet earlier, President Trump urged Republicans to stand with him, saying in part it's about border security and the wall, stopping crime, drugs, etc. Well, the proposed budget cuts the Environmental Protection Agency's budget by 31 percent and the Department of Education by 10 percent.